so I found some Roblox games with under 100,000 visits, and I want to shed light on these games since I believe that they are great and have potential in reaching more than 100,000 visits. And to start off, we have Spontaneous Generation. It's a game made by Roblox user Epsilus, and it is a minimalist style building game set in space where the goal is to be the last man standing against an onslaught of chaotic events. Currently, this game sits at around 60k visits, and the first time I joined the game, I had no idea what was going on. I literally died within the first few seconds. However, after observing the players and the game, it appears that this huge cube in the center of the map is called the Artifact. The Artifact is the creator of those chaotic events, and it dishes out these events that can either make or break your chances of survival. And let me show you guys the basics. When a new game starts, you spawn into your own base. You can pick up and place down blocks from it, and with some of the blocks, you can interact with them. The building is a key mechanic in the game, hence the minimalist building game in the description. I rearranged the base of how it looked, so it has some more protection against the artifact. Within seconds, the artifact starts doing its events. The artifact was nice enough to give me this missile, which I tried shooting, and this happened. There's a player down there, but I think he might be kind of friendly with us. So what if I do this? What if I throw it at the actual artifact? Absolutely nothing happens! It comes back at me! Okay, that was a huge fail. I should never do that again. There are also some times where the artifact increases in intensity, which suggests that more chaos will arrive shortly. Sometimes the artifact has a cooldown, giving you some more breathing room to prepare. It also gave me the ability to sit down for some reason, I don't know why, but hey, I'll take it. Now fast forward a bit. I was able to make my way next to this abandoned base, and grab some of its blocks to help my ship with more defense. And at this point, a lot was happening. The artifact kept doing its events. Oh my goodness. Um, Apparently I can think I can vomit. Dude, why would I want to vomit? I can teleport to a block. I can go invisible as well. Dude, what is that? I got a metal pipe. Huh? Wait, where did I go? I think I just teleported somewhere. Dude, how do I go back to my base? How do I go back? Yeah, l let me just say hi to this person here. I think this guy's actually chill with us. I'm not going to attack him. I think we're all good here. Yeah, sorry. I got lost. I have no clue what I'm doing. And look at all these red lasers here. Dude, this guy's ship is getting destroyed right now. This is like, um, can you jump off? Can I try to jump on these things here? Oh! Ooh. And that was game over. So that was Spontaneous Generation. Very great first impressions and very solid game. I really like the style of the game, how the game functions, how it works. And I hope this game hits more than 100,000 visits soon. You guys should definitely check it out. So the next game we have is called Detriment, a game developed by Roblox or Detriment Community, and is a fast-paced adventure game with varying gameplay styles and abilities. Currently, this game sits at under 100,000 visits. Now upon joining the game, you need to complete a tutorial. To summarize, this tutorial helps you out with a lot of things that you need to know, such as the type of jumps, movements, and mechanics in the game. Upon completing a tutorial, the next level feels like you're playing a completely different game. It feels more like a story slash adventure slash interactive game rather than a platformer game you just experienced. But long story short, you drink the entire night, you go to bed, you run out of blocks of cola, and you run outside. And that's where the game begins. You're here on the first level. Advancing through the level felt fun. You can see some of the things you learned in the tutorial being used here. And there are also these collectibles which you can read for some story slash lore. And also these NPCs you can talk to, giving you either some dialogue or some good advice. And surprisingly, there are actually a ton of these guys around here. But let's just go up ahead and into this park. I had to use my parkour skills and press these four buttons. After doing so, I entered the gate, button mashed my way out, and a cool title color appeared. From this point, it was all platforming and advancing through the level. Again, using the skills I learned from earlier, and also my own game knowledge, I love how easy navigating the game felt. I also found another one of these collectibles, probably for some more story and lore, but after going ahead more, I got to this last area where there was some random guy here, and also the finish line. So that was detriment. I would say that this is the best action adventure platform game out there. The movement in the game felt great, the visuals and audios are amazing. I hope this game reaches greater heights, definitely check this game out. So our next game is called Pantheon. A game developed by Roblox Roy Pantheon Gaming, and it is a turn-based strategy game where you command armies that fight on a grid-based map. Currently, this game has around 60,000 visits. Upon entering the game, you click play, and choose a faction to join. 
depending on the faction you select. You can get unique units that are exclusive to that faction. I chose this one here, since it looked cool. After selecting, you are then met with a tutorial, which was very useful. It teaches you the basics of the game, such as how the game works, the movements, the combat, and how to win. Exploring the game through its GUIs was fine, but it felt kinda cluttered. But after some navigation and clicking play, I went straight for PvP, which was a mistake. Right as I spawned in, the current objective was to kill the enemy leader to win. However, I thought it was still capture point game mode, just like in a tutorial. And dude, I literally put my leader units at the middle of the map because I'm an idiot, and I instantly died to the enemy. I then tried again, only to suffer the same fate, but this time even slower. So after that, I decided to play the single player mode, where I was up against the bots. And this was much easier, since it was a bot and not a real player. And after being in the bots, I decided to end it from there. So that was Pantheon. Great first impressions, and also a game with huge potential. I really like the style of the game, how it is a turn-based game. The game feels good to play, combat is fun, the movement really makes you strategize. But the only thing I would suggest is making the GUIs look a little more clean. But overall, I can see the potential in this game, and I hope it does well. And finally, for our last game, we have Spaced Out. It is developed by Robothorpe Universal Laboratories, which is an interesting space game that features balls. And currently, the game's sitting at around 90,000 visits. Upon joining, you're sent to a tutorial where you can learn the skills and knowledge of the game. The tutorial taught me about some of the mechanics in the game, such as stacking these blocks, crafting items, and wiring. The game also introduced these pumps here, which allows you to extract water and slash or oil from the ground, which will come in handy very soon. But basically, the goal of the tutorial is for you to make a rocket and exit out the level. Long story short, I used these pumps to extract some oil, to then transfer into these storage blocks. I then made the rocket similar to the example shown, stacking everything on top of each other and gluing them into place. And after some wiring, I hopped in and successfully took off. Which by the way, it was actually really hard to do. I literally needed like an online source to figure out what to do next. But after all of that, I got transported to the actual game. And after spawning in, I got to work. I started hitting these trees over here, which gave me materials, and I used those materials to craft some useful items. And I was able to make one of those pumps, but the only problem was, was that there was no oil around, and I've been looking for like a good 3-5 to five minutes, and I couldn't find any oil at all. There's also this bar thingy down here, which might be some sort of chaos bar slash meter. And I also try to go around and try to get some more materials, try to craft some other stuff. After trying to spend some time trying to figure out what to do, I just called it a quits. And that was based out. The overall idea of the game itself sounds great, however, the game was too difficult for me to get into, especially with a tutorial. And this might sound stupid, but I feel like the game would be more popular if it was maybe more easier. But overall, I really hope this game succeeds, and I hope it breaks over 100,000 visits.